I'm Anil Kumar and this video is on application of first derivatives. The question is find turning points, interval of increase and decrease and local minimum maximum for the function f of x equals to x cube minus 3x plus 4. Now remember from the first derivative you can find all these three things and in this particular video we will learn how. So we are given a cubic function f of x equals to x cube minus 3x plus 4. Let's find its derivative. Its derivative is going to be quadratic in nature. It is 3x square minus 3, right? So that is the derivative. We can actually factor this. So if I factor, I get 3 and I get x square minus 1, which could be further written as 3x plus 1 times x minus 1 right now we are going to analyze this derivative to answer all these questions so the first question is find the turning points to find the turning points we need to find zeros of the derivative so the turning points are the points where the derivative of the function is zero right so it has to be a horizontal line i mean uh, derivative of the function is zero so for this particular equation when is that 0? It is 0 at x equals to minus 1 and at x equals to plus 1. So these two points will give us the turning points, right? So if I write f of 1 and f of minus 1, I will get my turning points. Is that okay? So at x equals to minus 1 and plus 1, we have turning points. Now we have to find intervals of increase and decrease. So what we can do here is, so let me sketch a number line here. Let us say this is the x-axis and what we found is that it has the derivative is, has two zeros one is at minus one the other one is at plus one so these are the zeros this is at let us say this is x-axis right so this is at minus one this is at plus one and if you sketch this parabola it will be upwards right so so it, the parabola will be kind of like this so this parabola represents uh, f dash x, right? It represents f dash x. So what you see here is that on the left side of minus 1, the derivative is positive, right? And on the right side, the derivative is negative for the given function. It means that the slope of the tangent line is increasing on the left side of minus 1 and it is decreasing on the right side of minus 1, right? So whenever the derivative is positive, that means the function is increasing, correct? So that is what it is increasing. So when the slope changes from increasing to decreasing, what does it signify? It signifies a maximum. Do you see that? So this is your maximum. On the other hand, we are going from negative derivative. That means the function is decreasing in this interval. So the slope basically is decreasing as we have seen here, right? So it is kind of decreasing, right? But at this point, it becomes positive, right? So it becomes positive. So that gives you a minimum value, right? That gives you a local minimum. At times, it could be absolute minimum also at times. But in this case, you know, it's a cubic function. It has to be local maximum and minimum since the end behavior of a cubic function is that it goes to infinity or minus infinity correct so that is how you have your maximum and minimum values correct now from here we can find interval of increasing so increasing means what increasing means where derivative is positive greater than zero right so the interval of increasing for us are from minus infinity to minus one and from one to infinity right one to infinity interval for degrees are when the derivative is less than zero. It is less than zero within minus one and one. You could actually also find intervals of increasing and decreasing by taking test points, right? So, so you could do this is alternate method. Uh, test points between in this interval from minus infinity to minus one could be minus two. In this interval could be zero and then plus two. Then find out the values of the derivative at 
minus 2 at 0 and at 2. These are the test points of the derivative, right? You are not really interested in the value, but you are more interested in sign, whether it's positive or negative, right? So if I substitute minus 2 here, then what do I get? Minus 2 square is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 3 is plus 9, so it is positive, do you see that? If I substitute 0 here, I get minus 3, so minus 3 means negative, do you see it's negative? And if I substitute 2 here, then again I get 9, which is positive, right? So, so we get positive as shown here in these two inter intervals and negative in this particular interval. So that's an alternate way. Sometimes that is the preferred way also, but I prefer to sketch. It's much simpler. Now, once you have done all this analysis, you clearly know that interval of increase is where the derivative is greater than 0. So it is greater than 0 in minus infinity to minus 1 interval and from 1 to plus infinity interval. It is decreasing in the interval between minus 1 and plus 1 and you can see local maxima and minimum are at. So maximum is the value at f of minus 1. So you can calculate this value, substitute minus 1 and minimum value is at f of 1 right so you can substitute 1 here and calculate so let us do that calculation if I write 1 here I get 1 minus 3 plus 4 and that is equal to uh, 5 minus 3 as 2 right so that is the minimum value if I substitute minus 1 here minus 1 gives me minus 1 and that makes it plus so it is minus 1 plus 3 plus 4 and that gives me 7 minus 1 as 6. So we get the point for local maximum. This point will be at minus 1, 6 and minimum will be at 1 and 2, correct? So that becomes the point for local maximum and minimum in your case, right? I hope with this you understand how to analyze the first derivative and get the turning points, interval of increase and decrease and the local maximum minimum. As an added exercise, what you can do is try to uh, uh, sketch the graph, right? Try to sketch graph of the function itself, f of x, right? So let that be an exercise for you to do. Sketch the graph and verify what we are saying here is absolutely correct and it makes a lot of sense to you. Thank you and all the best.